hello guys welcome back again this is a boy Gadam adam's link media welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing okay please don't forget to like this video comment share it on all social media platform follow me on instagram twitter at adam's link media and don't forget also to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification to get updates so guys hi i want to ask this question what is there in human physics that generates money why are youth some youth in nigeria eating human physics in order for them to get money this is what is happening native doctor nowadays if a young guy approach them that they want money to get rich overnight they simply ask them do some voodoo magic for them tell them okay go and eat physics with bread i've reported this news twice recently another boy on another young man was caught this young man was caught eating human physics According to the news, they say a uh, suspected froster forced to eat the physis he was nabbed with in Delta State. The, sus the suspected reportedly, the suspect reportedly came into the Delta State community of Anab of uh, Anabra State and was caught red-handed in the heart by some vigilante members. So they caught him in the heart trying to eat human physis with bread. Why? What is the human physics that generates money? Girls are protecting their parts, their pants. Guys are protecting their bosses. Even if you go to Barbie Salon nowadays, people will like them to pick their hair so that they will bundle themselves. We are no longer safe entirely. Very soon now you see other people going to suck away. Suck away to start generating uh <laughs> human man this this was is a crazy word man and uh also guys uh virginia daniel husband led walk hole through his youth empowerment he has been reportedly that he has reported that he is trying to reconcile the nigeria entertainment industry to reconcile the beef to hand the beef in nigeria entertainment industry and he is starting it with david o and whiskey recently the, uh, he had a meeting with Whiskey, and, and uh, later on he had a meeting with David Doe. And this is all. This whole idea is from Regina Daniel, I trust Regina Daniel. So, do you think he will succeed in reuniting the love between Whiskey and David Doe? And now, Bono Boy is even among now. Do you think he's going to succeed? He had a meeting with Whiskey some few weeks ago, and also had a meeting with David Doe just a couple of days ago. They chill, they talk. So he is trying to reconcile the beef between Whiskey and David o through his youth empowerment development. Apart from that, the work on known, known for marrying very young, young, young ladies as virgins, he's also known for a philanthropist way. He's really, really kind, according to people who have met him. He gives out, empower a lot of people. Yeah, so he's trying to do that again in the Nigerian music entertainment industry by reuniting whiskey and david o, since they are among the biggest stars in in in, in nigeria entertainment industry now and they have they have the like the longest beef ever so simply because of competition so he's trying to reconcile this so the question is, do you think this man at the world who will succeed in reconciling david o and whiskey do you think it's going to succeed? Well, for me, I don't think... To me, this beef is good. Honestly, that is the only fact to me. It's good. The fight is good for the music. And nobody can be... No, no, not everybody will be friends. Not everybody will be friends. But the competition is good. But the fight, though, is not good, sorry. The competition is good. So let us see how well it will succeed. So guys, this is a really, really funny one. A shoplifter was caught for lacing his tight waist with a less tooling tins of sardines. This guy went to the shop and he started loading his waist with sardines. Titles. This uh, titles uh, fish. Title loading is uh, and he was caught. Honestly, it's really, really funny. He said he visited a supermarket with a tiny waist. After strolling around the supermarket looking for what to lift, his waist grew bigger. 
he visited <laughs> he visited the visited supermarket with a tiny waist after scrolling around the supermarket looking for what to lift his waist grew bigger then the attendant was uh, acquisitive to know what vitamin he must have taken in the supermarket that resorted to his waist boosting only for them to discover it was artificially waist floated by sardines so this guy came to the supermarket his waist was very thin as he was about to leave his face grew bigger then the attendant said oh what vitamins do you take just in a short while your waist grew from thin to so to, to become so fat so they were curious so they said okay let us check let us ask this guy what vitamins he has been taking since he entered the shop so when they leave up his chair they saw that uh, he has already stolen sardines come on guys sardines <laughs> Man. Man, this is really really funny those kind of people even if you give them money to buy sardine the whole food in this world they're still going to steal I don't think there's hunger. If it's hunger, it will take one just to fill his stomach. This is not hunger. I think it's psychological problem. Maybe a cause. And even he, if you call him now, okay, let me assist you, get the, take this money, it's still gonna steal. But if you are willing to assist this guy to stop him from stealing, you can do it, guy. You can see contact him, try to reach out to him to assist him. I'm not saying that what I say is totally true. So, guys, to wrap up this video, I just want to give some advice to some of you who are planning on renting a house in Abuja or anywhere in the world. Please, a friend of mine ran into trouble with his, uh, with the agent of a house, uh, a caretaker of a house. Please. If you ever go to a house and you want to rent that place in Nigeria, try. If you see an agent and he take you to the caretaker or he will take you to the landlord and that person give you give you a account number to pay money into, please first do not pay cash. Make sure you use the bank transfer or go to the bank to pay and owe your or owe your evidence of payment, your receipt. So if anybody give you account number to pay, please, I will indulge you to go to the fellow tenant when the guy is not there, visit that particular place and ask questions, ask the fellow tenant, see, is this the guy that you, that you people pay money to when you want to pay your rent? If they confirm it, then you can pay. If they tell you no, it's not the person, please run. Ask the, uh, ask the agent or the caretaker to give you the real account number, the same account number that if other t t uh, tenants pay money to. Please, my person ran into trouble in Abuja here. He paid some of 400,000 Naira to a caretaker of a house. And this caretaker, we are still looking for that person to now. Please, I just want to give this advice to a lot of you guys. I know somebody might want to make a mistake. Always investigate. If you are buying any property in Nigeria, always investigate. Always investigate before paying money to anybody's account. Always investigate. Even if you recover this money back, it will waste your time. It will waste other resources in order to get that small money back. Please, always investigate. And also guys, this is pure wickedness. A man lamented what took a video of his house, what is left of his house, when he simply asked the tenant to move out. This lady hungrily destroyed all the things in this man's house before moving out. So watch the fluke clips and enjoy the rest of the video and make sure you leave your comment. Have a wonderful day. Bye like because i ask you to leave because you did not pay your rent i ask you to leave my house i wasn't evicting you i didn't want to even put an eviction on your record i just ask you to leave my house and you do this shit. like because i asked you to leave my house 
and you wouldn't leave talking about Timmy, you gonna have to take me to court. You you do all this though. Like I ain't never did shit to you, never. I gave your bitch ass a place to live when nobody else would give you a place to live. And you tear my shit up. Ain't no I swear to God on oh my mama, bitch, if I see you, I'm going to prison. And that's all my kids. I'll shoot you dead in your mother.